Dear Mr. Starrick, men hired, strike tomorrow. Disraeli's death will stall Corrupt Practices Act indefinitely. Gladstone will be far more pliable. May the father, etc., etc., be. So Starrick's got his finger in politics, has he? I need to enter the Sinopian Club and find out who B is. Tread delicately around Parliament. As if I don't usually. Your indiscretion at the Bank of England caused British currency to nearly collapse. Nearly is the operative word. Speaking of collapses, what of the key you found that unlocks very little? Henry took it for research. I am confident that the vault is ours. Nearly ours, Evie. Nearly. again where we are going. I found a letter from the Prince Consort among Lucy Thorne's research, marked with the same insignia as your key, dated 1847. 1847. The same year the Prince began renovations to Buckingham Palace. You think he added a vault for the Shroud? And since there is no map of the palace with the room marked Secret Vault. Your Highness, may I present Miss Evie Fry. Miss Fry, Maharaja Dulip Singh. A pleasure, Your Highness. My friend, the plans you asked for have been removed. Removed? By whom? Crawford Starrick, or someone employed by him. Yes, I thought you might recognize the name. I know where they are, but it is heavily guarded. That part will not be a problem. I thought not. We're going to need a plan. I can provide a distraction for the guards while you find a safe way inside. Oh, really? For you, Evie, certainly. Well, once I'm inside, I'll find someone who knows where the papers are stored. And we will be back on the train. Be careful. What's the plan? When you give the signal, I'll draw the guards into a fight and then use a smoke bomb to get away. And I'll take advantage of the confusion. Ready? Absolutely. That's not them. Not a 
Nothing here. Looks like I have to ask someone where the plans are. Ah, I'd swear, miss. I don't know where they've taken him. Taken who? The man. Dressed like you. The guards dragged him off. Henry, the plans you stole, where are they? I don't know anything about that. The plans. The mission. You're some of Clara's children. They took Mr. Henry. We couldn't stop them. I bit one of them good, though. They dragged him off in a red carriage. They won't get far, though. One wheel looked like it was about ready to fall off. You could... run off the road. They must be driving quickly. There you are. on the right track. Come on. That must be the carriage. Found you. Now to find Henry. Anything about Please the carriage, but there's been some strange happenings around here today. 
all kinds of unsavory types wandering around. Armed to the teeth. I don't like it one bit. I saw them dragging someone out of the carriage after the wheel fell off. They said he'd hit his head. Not sure why they needed to take him to the it's church, the but that's where they went. I could have sworn I'd locked this gate. This is supposed to be locked. Bloody urchins opened it again, no doubt. Send someone to move the architectural plans. Do you have them? Did they hurt you? I'm fine. Let's go. What about the plans? The plans are lost. Oh, Evie, I'm sorry. Just concentrate on escaping, please. Get Miss Nightingale to look at that. I must find the vault before Starek secures the shroud. We'll talk to the Maharaja again. I will talk to the Maharaja. You will get your head looked at. I'm sorry my capture hasn't done your plans. You'd be safer on the train. Even if you find the vault, you can't just walk into Buckingham Palace alone. I won't be alone. I'll see you back at the train, Mr. Green.
your brother. What's he done this time? <laughs> the newspapers are all over Tupany's murder. And if that weren't enough, someone has stolen the currency printing plates. Was that also Jacob's doing? I doubt it. No, no one trusts the bank or England's currency. There, there will be inflation, riots, manufacturing will jump to America for the cheap labour. In short, Britain is done for. Jacob, you've really put your foot in it now. What if I smuggle the plates back into the bank? Well, it would certainly help. Better yet, it would call into question the stories on Tupany's murder, which would restore confidence in the economy. That's settled then. Britain lives to see another day. Oh, and if it's not too much trouble, would you mind destroying any counterfeit notes you come across so they don't circulate? Of course. It really is very good of you to help. Follow me. The counterfeit money is being spent nearby. Well, if you can call it counterfeit, with those printing plates, it's nearly impossible to tell the real notes from the fake ones. Mr. Abilene. If this gets out... Well, I've said this already. When people don't trust their currency, and we're already seeing riots... Mr. Abilene. You two, follow me. I don't wish to be robbed on my way to the car. The counterfeiters. Heard about the rioting at the bank? They can riot all they like. We won't be giving back those plates. What difference does it make? It's not like he has any real cash on him. Since we've got the printing plates, it's all real cash. Did you hear those crowds? I can't believe Jacob's managed to shatter the entire economy. Father was right. He acts in haste and repents not at all. Now to sneak these back into the bank. Oh, my God. 
There, as if they were never taken. Well, the London papers are running the story of how it was all a hoax. No more riots. Face in the bank restored. Finally, I might get a quiet night on patrol. Miss Fry, I can't thank you enough. Glad we've averted catastrophe, Sergeant. Although it's Jacob who should be thanking me.